Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Rockmaster Resources Corp, John Mirko. How are you doing today, John? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Excited to have you on the show and learn more about your company. I have a few questions for you and let's get right into it. So the company has about 2 million ounces in all categories. Can you break this down for our viewers and through each category? Sure thing. So what it is, that's the current resource, and that's the product of a 43101 that was done over a year ago, a, a technical report on the resources from a few hundred drill holes and surface and underground workings, is a gold equivalent 2 million ounce uh, number. And what that means is some of the value is uh, gold, some of the value is silver, lead, and zinc products that we're going to all use uh, when there's a commercial operation there. Approximately two thirds of the value comes from gold. So that's why we use a gold equivalent. The 9 million tons broken down, uh, measured, uh, the category of measured, which is based on your, your sample uh, points that you have and the proximity to the next sample point is approximately half a million gold equivalent ounces. The next category, which is indicated slightly broader uh, Pierce points is about the same, half a million ounces gold equivalent inferred where you do larger step outs between your drill holes or your sample points is a million, one million, a little over one million ounces gold equivalent. Adding up if you add up everything in all categories, that's approximately two million. Fantastic. John, can you go through ongoing drilling and when the company is expecting some drill results? Okay, so currently, <laughs> great question. Currently we're underground, we are okay. drilling. We're drilling a large diameter drill core, which is a lot thicker than the previous drill core because we're gonna utilize that for metallurgical testing results as well as the analysis for, for gold assays. Why do we want it thicker? Well, we're gonna cut it in half. Half's gonna go for metallurgical testing. And we need some bulk on that because they do lots of crushing and grinding and gravity and flotation. And in our case, uh, metallurgical processes where we're gonna pre-oxidize it. So we need a, a, a certain minimum volume of that. Plus, we're doing a lot of this drilling down where we put a lot of free gold in, in last fall, last winter. So we're going to test these free gold areas also with the larger diameter drill core. That's currently going on right now underground at the Railroad Ridge project. Because winters come upon us, we've moved underground. The surface diamond drilling that we did we walked out a couple of kilometers to the northwest along there, all helicopter supported uh, diamond drilling with a fly rig. All those re results are now in and being incorporated, which ones we can incorporate into the updated resource numbers that are going to be coming out shortly have been included in that. And we will report on all those holes, anything that has an NSR value that would qualify to be in our uh, PEA would be included in the resource numbers past the cutoff grade. And that all be coming out shortly where, you know, I promised this in the past and, and struggled with getting the engineering team to get that out on my promised time. But uh, we're at the we're at the very short strokes here and we're in the final days of getting that done and me hurting five engineers and making sure that we uh, keep the mistakes down to zero. So that's where we're at with that. And you can expect that out soon. Very and, good. Uh, and we're going to continue drilling. Uh, we don't have any plans to stop. This property, as, as you've probably noticed, has one main zone that everybody's poked holes in and it keeps expanding and it's in one area and it's now a few million ounces. But along uh, eight or 10 kilometers of strike length in the known deformation zone are other zones on the surface. And we've tested a few of those to the north, nothing to the south yet by both prospecting soil geochemistry to try to target where to drill and then a little bit of shallow drilling. That's all going to keep on going because the way of, you know, the, you can add tonnage to this deposit and grade by drilling. 
and uh, by and by deposit, I mean deposit area along those zones. Can you tell us about the seven to ten kilometer length zone with very large blue sky potential? And can you tell us about the team at Rockmaster and how you guys have a proven management team? Yeah, sure. So that's why we took on this project in the first place, in addition to it being precious metal rich. It, it, it was obvious to us that this deformation zone was, was large and, and provided a lot of exploration potential, or as you say in the game, blue sky potential. It's not, at, at my age, I, I want to go and explore. I want to try to double, triple the size of some of these historic prospects. I'm not interested in building another mine if I can avoid it. It's all about adding value. So we took this on. We, we found out it's an orogenic gold system. It's got a lot of legs down dip in every case where we've drilled and down dip. We're 500 meters plus lower than the previous resource, and we're still wow. hitting. It's wide open. And that excludes any of the strike length of that. You know, we've only gone 1.8 kilometers where we've got some values to the northwest. To the southwest, we later in the season got back some good sample results and too late to move the drill down there. But this is going to go on for years, I'm pretty sure. So the management team here has, uh, and myself in particular, have permitted uh, uh, three mines in this area, which I'm referring to the watershed of the Columbia River and the West Kootenays. Uh, built uh, built three and permitted, so permitted, uh, developed, constructed, and operated three commercial mining operations. And it's a very difficult thing to do. So what, what we're doing right now is we're going down that path of, of putting together all the information you need in order to provide that information to the local communities, First Nations, government, regulatory bodies, to move the permitting process a long ways down the path. That adds value. That's right up there with good drill holes. If we have that, along with good drill holes, and we can show that there's a good chance this is going to become a commercial operation, we're going to attract investment and people looking at it as a good takeover target. That's Very what good. our management team's trying to do. Here. Very yeah. good. We love that. We'd love to hear yeah. that it has the potential to be a takeover target. That's what investors are looking for. Big catalysts. And obviously, you know, finding great reserves and great uh, resources in the ground can you tell the viewers how the company is focused on being known as mine builders and multi-project focus? Well, that's a that's another good question. We have built mines in the past. I've got a, a team that can do that. It's a small team of, uh, of uh, great guys. Uh, you, you're not going to see that in the management description. I mean, go on our website, take a look at some of the presentations that describe our geological team and some of our uh, 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 management team as far as... Uh, the market goes and that kind of thing you'll 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 be happy with that but in the background you know we've got good um, engineering we've got good uh, environmental uh, people just fantastic guys who have operated in the Kootenays here in the past and for many decades very familiar with the regulators and, and, and people that you know in the communities are going to be comfortable with that type of a group and uh, this is one thing that we you know, we, we, we focus on providing the comfort in these areas if we're talking about mining. It's just, this is the modern day and the modern age. And, and as you've probably seen in the news, somebody builds something and it falls over and causes pollution. We're just not interested in going down that path or ever even proposing something that might have that kind of a problem. So, you know, this is, this is what we do. So we're scattered around in the Kootenays. We've got a copper project to the southwest, a couple of hundred kilometers, sorry, the southeast, and about 150 kilometers to the southeast, we've got a zinc project. We love these projects. They're, they're, they're big potential, like they're large, large uh, world-class targets, one for zinc predominantly and the other one for copper, silver. And you know, look what's been happening in the market recently with regards to base metals. We're going to be seeing in the next six months a phenomenal base metal market. So we're going to make sure all of that's in play along with the gold project at Rebel Ridge in the coming year. Yeah. Those are some exciting projects. Can you tell us about the new resource calculation upcoming? Okay. So what we did 
was we focused on adding tonnage and grade to that by drilling down dip from the existing workings underground. And most of that, that work happened over the last year and a half. And we did, oh, I'd say about 28,000 meters of drilling, uh, predominantly underground. There's, a, there's some of the surface holes to the Northwest extension have been included in that, the ones that made NSR cutoff or, or whatever we decide that cutoff to be. And we've included all of that and we're processing all of that data and putting together the maps and the sections and the different tables that we need, including what the baseline metallurgical results would be needed to qualify for that NSR, the values based on gold equivalent values and all the base metal values at, at, a, at an average price. And we'll also have graphics that's gonna show that. And this is all something we're working on over the next few days like days, it's not weeks. So we're, I'm pushing as hard as I can to get it out the door as fast as possible. We got a great team, but you know, they're engineers and it's like herding cats, so. <laughs> here, John, here at Rich TV Live, we love to identify companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and we love to understand the fundamentals of the company. Yeah. So for the viewers that are watching, can you explain how the company is undervalued for the amount of gold proven to date so that our viewers can understand the numbers and you can right. paint the picture for the people that are watching today as far as how undervalued this company really is. Yes. Well, the historic resource, if you take that 2 million ounces and you don't expand that by one ounce and you look at our market cap of around 40 million, um, you know, you're, you're looking at a very low uh, cost per ounce. In, in, you know, this, you can do it in Canadian or American dollars. Uh, it should be triple that. That's, wow. and, and I'm using that just from the normal industry standards on, on, uh, on what we call good ounces, where you can go from hole to hole or, or sample point to sample point and have a high comfort level. Uh, that that information is 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 good. So as you know, we've only done a preliminary economic assessment. We haven't done any feasibility studies, but that indicates, and and you'll see it too in the new resource estimate that that the comfort level on those ounces is very strong. So okay, so a few million ounces in our market cap, it's clearly undervalued. If you include the cost of the project, where we have to uh, pay the vendors and and, and take care of all of that background noise for another 40 million. That's an $80 million market cap. If you want to pretend that we've already bought the thing and 80 million with 2 million ounces, that's still undervalued. I agree Clearly. with you hundred percent. And we love to identify these types of companies that are undervalued that have incredible blue sky potential. If there was a question from an investor or a potential investor and they wanted to learn more about Rockmaster Resources Corp. What's the best way for them to get a hold of the company? Well, the best way is to send a message on, on our, uh, on our uh, internet site, rockmaster.com. You'll see contact information there. So you can get a hold of me directly by my cell phone. You can get a hold of our business development officer, Mike Kortz. His phone number is on there. And we also have an info at rockmaster.com email. So go ahead and shoot off a question there. I've had a lot recently, especially when we announced that 12 kilometers north of the eight kilometers, we started finding similar mineralization. So I think it's, it's going to be an interesting uh, uh, winter and summer coming up. Definitely. I agree 100%. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe this is a company, as you heard John uh, talk about, that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. You can see the symbols here, RKR in Canada, RKMSF in America. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching everybody. And thank you for joining us today, the CEO of Rockmaster Resources Corp., John Mirko. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. We'd love to invite you back to the show. Anytime you have any big breaking news or any updates, we'd love to speak to you directly. And for those of you guys that are at home that are watching, 
Let me know what you guys think. Comment on the video, smash the like button. Thank you for watching everybody and have a nice day.